No, it should be good. It's working fine. So with that out of the way, like I was saying, I defeated the casino hideout of Team Rocket. After that, I went to battle the Lavender Town, uh, the hot, them taking it over, and found out that the ghost was in fact Marowak's dead mother. I mean, not Marowak, Cubone's dead mother. Um, I accidentally killed it again, so I killed it the second time around. Um... Uh, but let's see. I think the next thing I have to battle is Sabrina. So, uh, let me get some revives. I think I used a lot of them. So, get uh, six revives. Get some potions. And I already have a bunch of Pokeballs, so I don't need any more. Yeah. Thank you. I I'm. Honestly, like, I have always wanted to stream because it's just the fact that it's, for me, it's, I always wanted to be able to create content that peop other people can enjoy. Alright, I got two hyper potions. Also, I think I overbought on the super potions, right? Yeah. So, just being able to stream is honestly such a reward, just not for me to streaming, but for other people to enjoy what I'm making. It's always sort of been a thing I, of my, like a goal of mine. I had a huge ha uh, hankering for playing Gen 1 Pokemon earlier today, but I was too lazy to start a new, uh, new file. And glad you started streaming in general. I think you'll be great at it, and you look, and look at you, you're affiliate already. Yeah, I mean, Honestly, one of the things why I like playing, um, like streaming in a way is because I myself, uh, here, one second, the volume of the game is louder on my end, so it's a little hard to talk with it, sort of like almost on level with what I'm talking. Um, let's lower this here. And then increase it for you guys. Alright, there we go. Alright, now that should be fine. Now it's lower on my end and decent for your end. But yeah, like I was saying though, like just being able to stream, not just through the fact that I'm able to have you guys be entertained and just be able to have a conversation, but also the fact that I'm, for the longest while, I haven't been interested in like continuing playing games. Um,. It was mostly me just not having, being motivated to continue or just being, wanting to finish a game. So I'm sort of using streaming as a way to just be able to play the games that I want and as well as just being able to have motivation to finish it because I know people want to see what's, what's next, what is my thoughts on certain things and all that. Uh, Pokemon Ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Oh no. I don't have room. Um, let's see. Uh, you're definitely enjoying, we're definitely enjoying the streams. We're really moving up in the streaming world. Yeah, the streams are great. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, streaming Vinemon, that's gonna be interesting. Red looks red. Yeah, he does look red. He's actually red this time. That's one of the cool things about this hack, though. Um, I don't know why I pressed it again. I have to make room. But, I have to, um, uh, I mean, this hack itself colors red to be red and uh, considering the uh the original if you played it on the game boy color it ended up making him green at times and other times it just didn't do anything like a decent for his colors uh still not able to teach that so i'm just going to toss that i don't really need it all right what's what tm does she have I'm so used to my own emotes on Discord. I keep typing them in Twitch chat. Also, the screen looks cut off. You zoomed in pretty far. Um, oh yeah. God dang it. I, I literally fixed it before stream. I just realized it cut off again. Uh, let me refix that. Sorry about that. Oh, that's too small. And... I did not mean to put on that filter. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm fixing it. Now let me fix that filter. Because, of course, 
issues after issues. Um, do, do, do. Let me go to configure. Uh, where is the filter options? No, I don't want that one. Like, I don't get why people want pixel filters. It is just a horrible idea. Come on, turn off. I don't need these. Alright, come on. Maybe the next one fixes it. That one just crashed it. Ah, oh, god dang it. This is why these sort of things... Uh, <laughs> why, like, why does the filter crash the game? <laughs> There's even more reasons to hate these stupid filters. Alright. Let's fix this again now. It still keeps the filter on it after a reset. Alright, no. I don't want that one. And the stupid thing is there's no options to go down a list. You have to click on, keep on clicking the filter list. Like, who wants to play on this kind of filter? Like, oh, man. It looks like I'm playing the real Game Boy Color here. Oh, man. Look at that. It looks amazing. Uh, no, this ain't it either. And also, I'll fix the size again. It keeps on changing back to this larger size. I don't know why. That's a blurried one. That's sort of not decent. And, now, and then there's lines. Uh, more lines. Blur. More blur. Is it? Yeah, that's it. All right. We're back to normal now. Thank God. Now, let's change the scale. That's too small. And then five. All right. Now we should be good. <laughs> ah, dang. All right, and I, my controls are all fine. All right. We're now, now we're set. So, actually, instead of uh, getting rid of that TM, I'm going to sell that nugget that I have. Man, it's just an issue after issue on today's stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for uh, dealing with that. Alright, now I can buy those items again. Get, I think I got like seven of them. No, I got like nine of them last, uh, last time. Yeah, Issueception, literally. Then those revives. Where's the revives? There they are. And I got six. Alright, now we're good. So now we can head down south. Alright. And we should be squared away. And like, let's see what's it say. Um... Let's get that TM. Let's see, you can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. What do you mean I don't have... Oh, right, I bought items again. All right, so I do have to get rid of that TM. <laughs> All right, so let's toss it. Wait, no, wrong one. Which one is that again? Uh, Mega Drain. Teach anyone? No, so I'll get rid of that. Toss. All right. Now I can grab this TM. It's probably... A fire move if it's talking about ashes let's see what it is either that or something spooky swift oh no that's actually pretty decent um i'll teach that to well if it's an in an auto hit that would be pretty decent on mankey Wait, no, that's not Mankey. That's a uh, Hitmonchan. Um, yeah, I'll get you to Punch Man. Punch Man would be decent with that move. 
this auto uh, auto hit. All right, so decent move, decent move, worth it. Um, now let's see. So nope, not over the left. So let's battle some of these trainers. Um, let's switch my Pokemon out. Uh, Nimbo King, I should have healed, but it should be fine. Um, should, I need to level up some, so I'll level up. I need to level up Carl. So, let's battle. And I believe I can get the next uh, fishing rod up ahead, which is the good rod, I believe. I haven't fished at all yet, so I should really try that. Fisherman wants to fight. Fisherman said, "Out, Goldeen." All right. So let me use Dig should be decent again I think against water. Since it's ground, let's see. Uh it's okay. I'll probably do another attack on him. Keep dodging his attacks. Alright. And will that kill me? It killed me. Of course. Alright, so that's alright. I revive him in the future. Uh, Nimbo King could probably take him down in one hit. Um, let's use Horn Attack. Come on, land this. That probably killed him. Nice as a crit. Got some nice CXP off that. Since he's low HP, I'll switch out. Yeah, Crawled could use the boost. Um, do Evangelion. I still need to change his name. Alright, so I'll use Tackle. Alright, awesome. Tackle again, and then I'll use Double Edge, I think. I'm not sure. Depending on how much it attacks. Hopefully it's a crit. Nice, it's a crit. Perfect. And another Goldeen. Yeah, sure, let's keep uh, Evangelion in. I'll use Double Edge this time to start it off. Alright, took a little recoil. That's fine. Use Tail Whip, but it failed. And it'll use Tackle again, and we should be set. Oh, man. Alright, now we're good. And level 27. Let's see, what does Evangelion have? Quick Attack. That's good. <laughs> Just a small fry. Actually, what did he say after battle? Hang on, my line snagged. <laughs> uh, anything up here? Nope. Another trainer. Let me grab this item first. Oh, there's another trainer. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. What does he have? A Goldeen again. So how's your guys been? Uh, how's your day been going, guys? It's been pretty hot around here. It's like almost 100 degrees where I live. It's like crazy hot. My, uh, I recently just got my uh, vine sauce mugs, and I got both the light and the uh, dark shroom mugs. It's actually, they're pretty good, decent looking. I thought they would be a little bit bigger, but they're a decent size. Alright. You beat me at Pokemon, but I'm good at fishing. Wait, I thought there was an item down here. Oh, it's, there's an item on that island, I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just crazy, like, how hot it is right now. Use Revive on Carl. Um, uh, the Nintendo just, they, uh, released a tweet saying that there's gonna be a, uh, Nintendo Treehouse, uh, the, tomorrow, I think it was, they're gonna be showing a, uh, the new Paper Mario game, uh, Fishing is a Waiting Game, and a new Way, Way Forward game. Uh, if there's, yeah, I'm not sure about the stream delay, um... It should be fine on my end. It might just be Twitch or your end. Um, yeah, let me check on uh, my stream real quick on my right here. So, 
me check, Let's see the playback, uh, advanced, video stats, uh, for me it's about two sec two and a half seconds, so it might be yours, uh, yeah, WayForward, uh, made Sa Shantae, um, they made, uh, let me look real quick, WayForward, I can't think of the name, think of the games they made, they made a whole bunch of other games though, uh, So they made Shantae, like I said, they made Sha uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Or unless they uh, published it. Is this published or made? I think they uh, made it. So yeah, they made uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night with Art Play and 505 games. They made the Mummy Demastered, which is a really good game. I actually have that on my uh, Switch. Um, they made a whole bunch of really great games. Um... They also made some, like, hit, uh, like, misses on some games. But they made, like, Drawn to Life. They made Mighty Switch Force. They made the DuckTales Remastered. They made uh, a Vita game for Silent Hill Books of Memories. I'm not sure I haven't heard anything about how decent that is. But, um, yeah, honestly, a whole bunch of games. A bunch of them are pretty decent, too. But, alright, let's get back to the game. So, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm, that's going to be interesting, uh, what they're going to be doing at the Treehouse. Like, I, they haven't done Treehouse non-E3 in, like, forever. So. Like, and apparently there's a rumor that on the 20th of this month, there's going to be a uh, Nintendo Direct, or at least the week of the 20th. So, I'm hoping we may... Um, it makes sense that they would do something like that. Like, they do the treehouse before it, because if the direct's the week after, um, of the treehouse, or not, or the, a week after the release of the game, of, uh, Paper Mario, it makes sense to do the treehouse prior. At least in my eyes. So. But, I mean, I'm, like, I'm honestly, this, we just need a direct at this point. It's like... As, as hot as it is outside, there's also a drought in Nintendo's gaming library. So. But, you know, what's awesome is that, I don't think I said this on stream, but the Paper Mario game comes out on the same day as the uh, Vine Sauce Charity event starts, which is also the same day as my birthday. <laughs> It's like I got like all these things happening all at once, and I'm like, oh man, this is like the bir best birthday ever. Come on, Evangelion, land it. Ugh, it's probably fainted. Oh no. Um, quick attack, just take him out. There we go. But yeah, it's just awesome. Like everything's happening, like it's lining up, and it's just perfect. It's like I'm probably gonna get the Paper Mario game, uh, like. Like day one, since I've I've always liked Paper Mario. Like in a way, um, I haven't played the originals. I played, I believe it was Super Paper Mario. I played, uh, and then I haven't really played anything else. I enjoy them all. Like I watch gameplay of them all and such, but I haven't actually like put time into playing uh, the older ones or like even or the newer ones. So should be fun to get the newer game. Hey, let me grab a drink real quick. Ah. All right, there we go. <coughs> um, let's use revive on Manky again. I have to use the switch uh switch strats on Carl Moore. It's too low level right now. Let's say fish. Actually, let me do some fishing first. Carl can take down some uh Pokemon while fishing. But yeah, thanks for the happy birthday wishes. Oh, it's a magic carp. I got one of them already. I bought them. Just hit the nearest Dynamax spot and get candies. <laughs> yeah, I need to play Pokemon Sword and Shield more. Like, if I, pl I played a good bunch of it, but... I haven't actually fine like fully finished the game, 
so I could probably restart it and do a stream of it. Like, I, I'm all for that sort of stuff. Did I battle you? No, yeah, I did. Um, so that would be fun, but I, I wouldn't do it right after Pokemon Red. I'll do the, that, like, like farther on, like, after a while. So I have a few games I have in mind I want to play after this. Um, but I might pull away from just doing an RPG next. I might focus on something different. Maybe, like, Hotline Miami or something something else like I played how my hotline Miami however I do enjoy playing that game a lot so I could completely like replay that game I love the music I just love everything about it so also I probably uh, if you guys have I mean I already worse uh, sent like shorter game suggestions which I'll probably uh, play in the future um since I'm just trying to go through my current library. Oh, excuse me, man. I took a drink into this like Um Yeah, this made me like get bubbly. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, if you do have suggestions for games to, for me to play, I'll definitely uh check them out. Um but right now I'm just going through my library. I have a whole bunch of games I can play. I can play like Shovel Knight, Sonic Generations, Enter the Gungeon. Stardew Valley, Rimworld, Minecraft, um, whatever you name it, really. I have a whole bunch of games. That I, a bunch of them I haven't played, a bunch of them I just barely played, and only a few I've, I played fully because I really enjoyed them. But, yeah. I'm really, like, I'm really ha uh, excited to get into, like, playing these games for streams, though. Because it's just like I never were, was motivated to continue playing. All right, Carl fainted again. Um, let's go with Nimbo King. Also, like I said, uh, said in the past, um, if you guys want, you can also send those suggestions. And so you can send them on Twitter, but you can also send them on uh, my Discord, which is I'm basically starting it up we have a whole bunch of channels you you stream yourself you can post when you go live in the self-promotion channel as well as anything else like if you make art post your art on the art channel um i love seeing other people's art uh if you post a tweet of it i'm probably most likely tweet it out like retweet it i just I'm personally i just love like that sort of stuff i also have like an anime channel so you can discuss like anime and the manga stuff that you like um Currently, I'm the after a stream. I'm most likely gonna be watching the first uh, episode of the second season of ReZero. Um, and so I love that uh, that show, and I'm so happy season two just started. Um, I still have to catch up on a few anime animes that I'm uh, have in my backlog uh, that happened last season. However. Right now, I'm just like, I'm so excited for ReZero. Alright, I got the Poke Flute. So now I can make this, make it through here. So let's use it. Poke Flute, use. It's pretty quiet, that flute. Zorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can catch this Snorlax. Level thirty, decent. All right, so let's use Psychic. All right, did a little damage. Started sleeping, of course. Uh, he uses Ice Beam. Maybe it'll freeze it. I'm not sure if Ice Beam had the ability to freeze yet in this uh, in Gen One, or at least the chance. Um, Bubble Beam, how about that? Little damage. All right, let's use Psychic, and then I'll damage a little bit with Bubble Beam. Ice Beam had a chance of freezing 10%. All right, so not much back then, and it's sleeping it. God dang it. Uh, let's use Psychic a few more times. Stay, stay sleeping now. Don't wake up. Alright. And woke up. 
All right, come on. All right, amnesia. All right, that's fine. Now let's use a great ball. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Come on, one. Ah, I need to use rest again, of course. Frozen also didn't thaw out. Oh, it didn't. That's real. That's. I did not know that actually. I guess there wasn't really that many ice moves that I ever used in Gen 1 to really witness that. And I just frozen them. Nice. Uh, use Bubble Beam to lower them a little bit. That's some good chance there. 10%. Now it should be able to catch them easy squeezy. Yep, there we go. Nice. Perfect. Now I got a Snorlax. A sleeping Pokemon. Very lazy. Just eats and sleeps. And it bulks, uh, bulk builds. It becomes steadily more slothful. Ooh. Uh, what should we name Snorlax? Any, got, any guys have suggestions? Um. He's very slothful. He likes to sleep. And he likes to eat. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he think is more um lustful, not slothful. <laughs> uh, I got an, an idea. Let me see how I can spell it. It'll go into the conver. It basically, be a perfect because of the conversation I just had. Let's see, can I fit it in this? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yes, perfect. So I can name him this. So I'm going to name him B E T E L G E U. S E. There we go. I forget how, how do you even say this again? It's beetle, uh, beetle geese, beetle geese. I think it's how you say it. Which in ReZero, a uh, ReZero, he's one of the, uh, I think, what's it called? The, it's, um, like leaders of being slothful. So, and, like, he's the one which he praises or whatever is the god of, like, slothfulness or whatever. And so, his whole thing is about being slothful, which is why I went with that, because it's perfect. Uh, I wonder when Snorlax throws it back. Throws it back. Is it fast enough? If they speed it up, can he, they handle that? What do you mean? Uh, I don't... Throws it back back is it fast enough speed up can they handle that i don't I, I don't know what you're talking about when you catch lots of pokemon isn't it hard to think about names in lavender town there's a man who rates the pokemon nicknames he'll help you rename them too oh it's a tiktok meme yeah i don't really want uh use tiktok at all i only ever see in passing on like twitter and whatnot hi remember me i'm professor oak's aide if you catch 30 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an item finder. So, Liz, have you caught at least 30 kinds of Pokemon? Um, maybe? Let's see. Uh-oh. You have caught only 20 kinds of Pokemon. You need 30 kinds if you want the item finder. God dang it. Really, the item finder is, like, so useless at this point in the game. I'm looking for a Nidorino. Uh, nah, I'm good. Ah, oh well. Looked into binoculars. The only way to get from Cerulean City to Lavender Town is by the way of the rock tunnel. What about this one? Looked at binoculars. It's a beautiful view. Which games added it where if you look through the binoculars, it had like a photo? Was that Gen 2 or was that um, Gen 3? 
It could have been also heart gold, so silver. Gen 1, uh, which one does that? Or where does it do that? So I remember, uh... Ah, Fuchsia one, alright. Yeah, I remember that from at one point. The Gambler. Also, it's f sort of funny, like, Gamblers were only ever in Gen 1, I believe. I don't think they were in Gen 2. Like, as the trainer. Sort of, uh... Sort of that only specific to the first gen until they got, like, a little, like, slack from that. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Like, nope, we can't have any more showcasing the gambling people. And landing these crits. My first loss. Luck of the draw. Just luck. Yeah, that's what they all say. An escape rope. Nice. Yeah, every gen neuters the concept of gambling further. And now we don't even have a game corner. It's it's honestly sad. I sort of wish that they just made the game corner into a arcade. That's all they needed to do. They didn't need to just remove it entirely. You could have put so much other stuff in it. You could have put the pinball game. Like, re reference that back from Gen 1. Or not Gen 1, technically. It's a Game Boy Color. Um, you could have done so much other stuff. You could have put in, like, a, like, the Voltorb flip. I don't know, is that, like, actually based on an actual, like, gambling card game? Because you can, honestly... Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I could imagine them putting... I mean, it wouldn't be as full as a normal Pokemon Pinball game. However, I can totally see them putting it in the game, rank up points to get coins, and being like you can catch certain items in it instead of, instead of like Pokemon, so you can get items as a reward as well through it. Um, it just honestly would just make so much more sense if they just made a it, a mini game in the game. So it's not as hard as it was back in Gen One or back in for the Game Boy Color to make a pinball game. I mean, we've seen so many pinball games now. It's just you have to get a basic little physics of the ball, and that's basically it. See, the thing is, I wouldn't say Game Freak is lazy. It's more so Game Freak is being taxed with more work on doing stuff, thus leading to it to having less motivation to make more and more interesting things. Uh, it's also the fact, like, if you haven't read about it, uh, Game Freak is a very sort of has a very political inside to uh the working environment so people who are great talkers within the studio get further better jobs but people like developers that are just developers and aren't like really good in uh gaming political talk uh not get uh they end up being at the bottom all the time thus why so many good programmers end up leaving game freak and don't stay within the company anymore because they just don't get anywhere and don't get raises don't get stuff like that and this isn't like a just a game freak problem this is mostly just a uh problem of a lot of japanese culture and jobs it's there's only like two sort of job environments there's a political talk up uh get further in your job or there's the sort of relaxed sort of mutual respect sort of uh, job area um where just your efforts make you get further into making a good game um and so that's that's sort of the area where it's it's interesting that it's like that i mean i understand why it would be like that pokemon as a company and as a developer is a huge huge thing so they sort of need to have that political mindset or else it ends up having people that getting into these higher positions that don't have the same idea and creative philosophy that the the start of the development of Pokemon ever was. However, that means that the cost of having quality developers working on those games. So it's like, it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. And honestly, in 
it, it's it's sort of weird. Like everyone's like for sword, sword and seal, yeah, sword and shield. People say like it's the worst looking game on uh, uh, the Switch. I mean, look at Breath of the Wild. Look at uh, even Nintendo 64 games. The thing that you have to uh, compare it to, you don't compare it to other games. I mean, I understand people will always do that. They'll want to compare it to another game on the same platform. However, for the most part, every Pokemon game, art style wise, always sort of has an area where it looks sort of dated in a way. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but like if you compare the black and white to the main console games of that era, you would say, oh yeah, that's definitely like a, say for example, an SNES game. Or, nah, you can you couldn't really say that. I mean, people obviously will tell, oh yeah, it's a DS game. But I'm just saying, hypothetically, people will start comparing that stuff to older gen, older consoles. Because it doesn't really fit that. And I think I, I go to SSN now. I'm not sure in gameplay wise. But that's the main thing. Game Freak was mostly a uh, game that's being. Uh, a console developer for only portable consoles it was not a for a game that's being made or a yeah game being made for a uh an actual like nintendo 64 not a nes not a snes not a uh wii u not a wii game so they already are sort of trying to get to that point i mean Sun and Moon visually was pretty stunning, but due to the fact that it was only the, um, it was so limited in visuals and sort of the aspect of the, yeah, I don't know where to go next. Let me check real quick. Like, I've only, Koga. Koga's down south. So, yeah, I'm going to have to take that bike route then, I think. Let me go to the map. So I have to head up north, I guess. Let me check real quick. Um, million SSN. Wait, can I access the SSN now and take it somewhere? Or is that not a thing yet? So yeah, I think I just have to go to Saffron City. I think that's what I have to do, unless... No, I think I was going the right way on the previous route. I just have to keep on going south. Yeah, I think that's what I had to do. I turned off it. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back. Well, at least I healed up my Pokemon. But, like I was saying though, it's just Game Freak at this point haven't really made decent in terms of 3D games. Like, even their uh, side department. I mean, if you compare all their games uh, that were were 3D, it's obvious that they're not that talented in the 3D market. I mean, if you uh, Pokemon Rumble, I mean, if you compare their graphics to Pokemon Rumble when they did make those, it visually it wasn't that stunning. I mean, it had a style to it, but it wasn't at all like, oh man, this game, this art style blows me away. This is this can compete with like Mario and all these other games it it wasn't it's the fun was within the gameplay and the and the sort of charm of the graphics and that's where game freak at this point sort of lacks in terms of what the games visually look like i mean it's they they'll definitely improve i mean every game has been improving it's just people just don't sort of think about like oh they're trying to get better they're trying to improve it I don't know. It's like, yeah, Harmo Knight was really decent. Uh, was that fully 3D or was that just still 2D? I'm pretty sure that was 2D, I think. Uh, let me look real quick. No, that was basically 3D. Yeah. I mean, it visually looks 2D. No, I think this. I think this is like. No, all right. Yeah, this is 3D. All right. Rocker sent out Voltorb. 
I mean, that one, yeah, that one definitely has a its charm. I can't deny that. However, it is a very simple style. Eddie Van Halen, yeah, is fighting me. Is that what he's actually based on, or is it just a different, uh... Or is this generic, I guess? I guess it's probably just a generic rocker. Ah, striking looks similar. Alright. Yeah, I mean, Harmon, I never actually played it. I know the music in it is really good. I mean, that's that was basically made for... Um... Also, I just paralyzed Voltorb. <laughs> How do you paralyze a ball? <laughs> but like I was saying, Harmonite is uh, the, the music in that game is like like splendid. And now we got Electrode. I'll use Submission on them. Like the remixes that uh, Harmonite did uh, for the Pokemon music, like. Like, it just made, I think it was, like, Gen 4's music they did remixes of, or for the battle theme. It just made that theme even more, like, crazier. It was just amazing how, like, full the song was, and, oh, man, I loved it. But, yeah, I mean, it basically was a game made for the uh, musicians of Game Freak, which... For the most part, they have not, like, the musicians of Game Freak have never, like, had a, like, they never missed the hit on a game. They've always, like, kept on putting out solid and solid music. Like, it's just crazy, like. Like, has, uh, the musicians always been the same people for, um, Pokemon? Or has they, have they, uh, changed people that the, uh, that produces it? Let's see fury swipes let's see um i sort of like my move set right now i'm not sure if i should move one of them well these three are i'm pretty sure all three of these well no body slam i think is normal karate chop and submission i believe are both fighting um and i'm learning the fury swipes which are also normal yeah i'm good i'm not gonna learn it Also, this rocker guy, uh, he sort of looks like, um, from Gen 2, uh, Silver, but, like, older, and a rocker. At least that's what he reminds me of, in a way. Water conducts electricity, so you should zap sea mo Pokemon. But is, isn't that immoral? That's like, you're killing those poor fishes. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand. I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. And I got a super rod. Nice. Fishing is the way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one. I've got to go something out, uh, and sort something else. All right. See you later, uh, pin uh, Pigeon. Hope you have a good one. I keep wanting to say penguin, but it's pigeon. <laughs> uh, ooh, should I battle? Yeah, I'm gonna battle and get the item. All right. You never know what you could uh, catch. You can call me penguin. <laughs> Now I'll call you a pigeon. It's just hard to you just have to get used to some names. That's all. Because you like you look at a side glance and see the name, like oh, oh, it's penguin. Oh wait, no, it's pigeon. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, let's use body slam. No effect. Good, good. So why do you have a a magic harp? That's like. Also, what level does Magikarp evolve at? Doesn't it evolve at, like, 32, 36? 
I'm pretty sure it's a higher level. Alright, awesome, awesome. Another magic harp. Let's use Karate Chop. Alright, I might have to switch out Carl. Mm, no, I'll use Dig. <laughs> Splash. Why are you using Splash? I don't... <laughs> Why? Oh, man, I remember those, like, Splash, um... Uh, rumors or theories going around on the playground when I was young. Lost it. Where, like, oh, if you use Splash, like, five times, you'll be able to land a, a huge hit. Not Or, I think it was not five, it was, like, 20 times in battle. You'll land, like, a devastating hit and, like, kill the whole other team's Pokemon. Or something like that. It was, like, so stupid. I, God, those are, like, the days. No more room for items. God dang it. Um, what, what do I have? What can I get rid of? All right, I got a super run. I hate this limited inventory. Oh, God. What, what do I need? Um, can I teach this to anyone yet? Egg bomb? No. I'm getting rid of it. I don't need it. What is it? Iron. Oh, okay, that's decent. I believe iron improves the strength, I think, or the uh, HP. It's on Carl. He needs it. Defense. All right. Yeah, that's good. I need that. I need that on Carl. Carl, like super spongy. All right. So now we're gonna dig. I mean, not dig. Cut. And we'll head down south here. Oh, right, there's that fence area down here. I always hated that as a kid. I always got lost in it when I was I played this game. I never, like... My comprehension of, like, where what goes what was always horrible when I was younger. I had no idea how to, like, navigate a maze. My cons... Like, I forget my uh, perception of, like, paddling was just so horrible. Uh, is Carmen going to die? Ooh, she's at a really low. Yeah, God. All right, I'm switching Pokemon. Let's go to Starry. One attack again. Uh, let's use Ice Beam. Not a Nuzlocke. No, this is just a normal playthrough. Um, like a mostly I haven't played Pokemon Red in like forever. So I mostly just wanted to play the game, uh, play with the full color hack, so I get the uh, full visual uh, stuff like that. It's also like my first game like streaming, so I just wanted to start off with something that I really loved as a kid. However, I, I am trying to prevent like people fainting because I do want to keep the EXP on certain Pokemon, stuff like that. You know, keep uh, not use that many items. But of course, I'll eventually use. I have to use them. Like I've already had uh, uh, Carl faint so many times. Oh, he got hurt. I could have made my Pokemon evolve of Moonstone. Ah, so that's the little trivia on how to uh, evolve one of those Pokemon for people that don't know. Uh, let's use an item here, or not item. I always keep swapping words like that out. Um, let's see, what's over here? No item? Actually, let's check. Is there a hidden item? No, there's not. Oh, no, this is just a patch of grass. Let's see what's in it. It should be something, uh, exclusive, possibly. Or maybe there's nothing in it. Is this literally just an empty pile of grass? Really? Why am I not getting any encounters here? Oh, there we go. What the heck was that? And it's just a Pidgey. I'm running from this. Is there anything else in this grass? Yes, this is. Oh, a Gloom. I'm actually... Let's see. Um... 
I don't have any grass Pokemon. That could be worth getting. If I do get him, I'd probably switch out Nimbo King for him. Yeah, I think that's worth getting, actually. Uh, let's send out Punch Man. All right. Also, I loved how I love how he's like pink in this. Uh, my uh, Hitmonchan. I know it's like Hitmonchan is normally like reddish for his uh, fists. So, hit the enemy two times, hurt by poison, sleep powder, doesn't affect, um, you choose swift since it auto hits. Alright, so, also about the Raichu evolving, I believe that was actually a mistake, if that's, I believe that's the one where they, um, it was a trade evolution where they said Raichu evolves. Yeah. So I, I believe originally in the base game of in Japan, uh, Japanese, it was, oh, what was it? I think it was like a, a Graveler. I think if I recall that correctly, it could have been a Graveler. And they basically said, oh, if you trade blah, 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 or something like that, Raichu would evolve. Uh, new, a new Pokedex data will be added for Gloom. Let's see. Gloom, the weed Pokemon. The fluid that oozes from its mouth isn't drool. It is nectar that is used to attract prey. Uh, let's name him... Ooh, I got an idea. Uh, let's name him... Doomer. There we go. I'll grab him out of the uh, PC in the future. All right, he's poisoned. Um, do I have an antidote? Did I pick one up? No, I didn't. All right, that's fine. I'll revive him after he faints. If he faints, which one has it? Uh, Hitmonchan. Okay. And let me cut this tree. All right, here we go. And we got another battle. So, Bird Keeper. Send out a Pidgey. Let's go, Carl. Um, I'll switch Pokemon since he'll be taken down if I don't. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's use Psychic on him. Critical hit, nice. Uh, let's switch on this one though. Um, I want to level up Nimbo King a bit, if possible. So I'm still not sure if I want to keep Nimbo King or if I just I'll switch him out for Gloom. Um, it'd be better if I do Gloom though, because the Grass um, Poison I think is a better combo than the Poison Ground. I believe he is. I have to check again, but. Let alone Nimble King's moveset isn't the best, I feel. Let's use Thrash. Thrash it about. I also, I don't I have to look, compare the stats too. Come on, Thrash him. Why do you keep on missing? Now I'm confused. Alright, there we go. Decent EXP. And defeated Bird Keeper. My bird combo lost. My Pokemon look happy even though they lost. Well, that's good. And we got another battle. I'm told I'm good for a kid. Let's see. Junior trainer wants to fight. Oh man, six, uh, five Pokemon. All right, let's switch back to Nimbo King. All 
Also, you guys uh, excited for um, the uh, Red Vox album drop tomorrow? Like, I'm pretty excited for that when that drops. Uh, apparently, they're going to be having a, a Q&A as well tonight. And they're going to be uh, previewing the music live, which is also exciting. So it's on their uh, channel, Red Vox Band, I believe, on Twitch. I don't, I forget which time it is. They post it on their Twitter. I'd have to check again. I think it's later tonight, like possibly or closer to ten. Not sure though. So don't take my word on that for the time. Come on, land a hit, land a hit. Horn drill. Okay. Welcome, Lizarus. Uh, thank you for the sub. Uh, from last night. I think it was last night. I, I caught it when I was looking through my settings. I saw, oh, hey, you got you subbed for me. So I really appreciate that. Uh, let's use Thrash. Thrash should be good. Nine. Ooh, good. Um, come on. All right, awesome. He hits. And I'm dead. Yep, he's dead. Alright, so I'm gonna send out Evangelion. I still need to fix his name. Quick attack. Uh, thank you, I appreciate the uh, kind words. I'm gonna keep on streaming as uh, much as I can. I really do enjoy streaming. Just being able to play the games that I like and have people like to talk to me and, and talk about it. As well as other topical events that are happening while streaming is fun. Like I said with the Nintendo stuff and all those game announcements. Like one thing, the reason why I'm also like streaming coincided with me getting my new PC is that I also wanted to get a new PC for uh, the Cyberpunk game. Of course, that got delayed like twice, so I mean, like, I had my PC earlier, but it's. I'm still so excited to play that game. I'm most likely going to stream that game. It's like, I just can't wait for that. Now, that is, like, my, like, sort of, like, bread and butter. Alright, let's use Quick Attack one more, and then we are took out his Pikachu and I think that's the last one there might be one more I think right yeah one more okay another Meowth but yeah like I said thanks for uh, stopping by and all that I uh, was near and said yeah my my computer literally like my old computer actually like I'm not exactly sure what went wrong with it. It wasn't the graphics card. It might have been the RAM. I don't think it was RAM entirely. But I think most likely I feel it was probably the motherboard. I think the motherboard has failed entirely. And this wouldn't work. Um, and basically I, I had to get a new computer. I was sort of like forced to. I was planning on saving up to get a computer at that time. However... I just didn't save, I didn't have enough at that point, so I had to rush to buy a new PC entirely. Um, I did get another PC before this one I have now. However, I kept on running into so many hardware and software issues that it just was not worth um, like just staying on that PC anymore. So I just bought a completely pre-built one. Um, so thankfully that's... Like, I'm now squared away. I don't have any issues with this PC. I moved my old RAM on my old PC into this one. So now I have a decent RAM. And I put my uh, my uh, hard drive into it. As well as I use my uh, other SSD with it. So, it's not the worst thing in the world. I moved a bunch of my old stuff into this PC. However, now I just have, like... I'm completely squared away with fine stuff on this. Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. Ooh, spooky. Uh, let's use some potions. Let's use the hyper potions. They only have two of those. Yeah, north to Silence. It's spooky. Use po hyper potion on Evangelion. And use one on Carl. Carl. 
And then I'll use the other potions I have. Should put that on Route 10 Swamp in Viamon. Yeah, that'd be a decent idea. Very ominous, in fact. Let's use a revive. On Evangelion. Oh wait, I didn't use a revive. Well, whatever. That's the second time I've used a stone on accident. <laughs> oh god. Whatever. I mean, I wanted a Jolteon. That's what I was saving it for. But now it's a little earlier than a Jolteon. Or a little... Whatever. He has decent moves, I guess. Wait, wait. I need the revive, not the super potion. Where's the revive? There we go. Like, I was confused for a second. Like, why was it not showing the HP? I'm like, oh, alright. I guess I, I can only use the revive on uh, Evangelion, even though it didn't say that it had no HP. <laughs> Uh, Thunderbolt, I gave that to Starry. Oh, wait, wrong one. Uh, actually, no, which one was it? I think it was... No, who had it? I think he's off my team, actually. I think. Wait, wrong one. Uh, stats? Chargwana, no. Yeah, I think it was another Pokemon that's now off my team. I could probably buy another one. Definitely could, uh... Actually, I'm not even sure if I could buy another one. Right, he doesn't know it. No, it was Starry, now that I remember. I accidentally, um... I accidentally taught a move to Starry that replaced it. It was the first one, and I accidentally, like, double-clicked A. Also, this... It looks like there would be an item there. Um, I'll go this way. It's only given to you by Lieutenant Surge. You can get Thunder in the game, cor uh, game corner. Uh, game corner, okay. It has to be annoying to get. Well, that's alright, I guess. I mean, I missed out on it. And I sort of lost the Thunder. Thunderbolt. But, alright. Oh, uh, let's see. To since 27, 21. I'll use submission on him. I'm not even sure. Is it, no fighting is not good. Fighting is weak against flying. God oh, dang it. Right? Yeah, not very effective. Um, let's use karate chop now. For some reason, karate chop, a fighting style that is karate, is a normal type. I don't get that. And level 22. Nice. I'll switch Pokemon over to Nimbo King. Uh, we're going to use Thrash to Thrash about. Alright, let's see. A decent amount of damage. Thrashing about, and Meowth is down. And a Pidgey. Man, this is going to be taking the whole team out soon. Oh, you missed, though. Alright, so let's use Horn Drill now. Still confused. Well, he's not still. He keeps on, when he's thrashing about, he's getting confused. Which I should say it like that. Alright. Oh, come on. I, I think... Isn't Horn Drill a one-hit KO? I forget. I think that's why it only has uh, five... Uh, five move uses. Yeah, it is. Alright. Well, I, I landed it. So... Level 25. Uh, no. No. And see, that's the thing about that sort of one-hit KO. Since they're tied to your speed, I believe it was, 
the uh, the larger you get as like Nimbo King, the lower the speed, I believe. It's either speed or weight. I can't recall. I think it is speed, though. Same with crit chance in Gen 1. It's really stupid. Uh, should I use it? I think I'll be able to take him out. I should be faster. Yeah, let's try it. Perfect. And, wow, you totally won! And I picked up some. Nice. Um... See what the sign says. Trainer tips. Look to the left of that post. Left of what post? What? Left of that post. Oh! That's really silly. Like, who put that sign there and put it in the ground? <laughs> that was, That's a really silly thing to do. Alright, calcium. Calcium. Well, calcium is good for your bones, but we know it's defense is... Uh, iron does defense. So is calcium for your special defense? Well, they'll know there isn't special defense in this game. It's only special. Um... Calcium is special. Okay, so I did make some logical sense out of that. So I'll, I'll teach that to Starry. I mean, at least I understood and understand that mindset of what calcium means. But it's weird that it doesn't mean, like, strength. Or, like, it's, yeah, defense, I mean. But I guess your bones technically aren't your defense for getting hurt. That's your flesh, technically. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, switch Pokemon, right. Let's, uh, go Evangelion. Ooh, nice, nice. I like the back sprite. Looks decent. Um, let's use Quick Attack. Oh, you missed? Unaffected. Good. And use tackle. Crit. It's okay. Quick attack it in. And then we should be fine. Alright, what other Pokemon do you have? So you got Pidgeotto. When does a trainer in this game start using a Pidgeot? Is that like, I'm pretty sure that's like far, far into the game. I think that's like Victory Road, I think, is either when you see it or your trainer, or I mean your rival has it. Gary uses it the first, alright. Yeah, I figured it was like that far out. I also always found the name, uh, naming conventions of like, you go from Pidgey to Pidgey Oto to Pidgeot. I always figured, found that really weird. Like, I always thought Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeotto was the third form, but Pidgeot was the second form. Because naming convention wise, you would think, oh, Pidgeotto, since it ha you use Pidgeot inside of the name, you would use. Yeah, I just I just don't understand that concept because, like, you you should literally shorten the name and remove two letters. Pidget. Yeah, see, like, Pokemon names are so weird. Like, you go from Pidgey to Pidgeotto to Pidgeot. And then, yeah, like you said, Pidget. I don't know. It's weird. And then we have Spearow, which goes into Fearo. Which, that one makes more sense because you go from Spear to Fear. It's just, which sounds like some sort of, like, YouTube, like, uh, show. Spear to Fear. Like some sort of random, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a battle channel, I'd feel. 
like they test out spears and see like oh what spear has the uh, leads to the most fear out of animals did you see the did you know a gaming bit yesterday I did not I don't really catch uh, did you know gaming that much only every once in a while once they pop up in my like recommended and it's a game I'm interested in I'm like oh hey sure I'll watch it but it's not something I really like go out to watch uh, specifically and here's that Firo. Ugh, the colors on him is... Ugh. Apparently the trainer trading you the Spiro in the English games is going to be named Brittany. Brittany <laughs> Spiro. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Did you uh, hear about the... Um, uh, what's, it, um, what's his name? Here, I'll... Uh, Dr. Lava, I believe is uh, his Twitter. He posted something that I found really, really funny. Uh, let me grab his the, treat, uh, the tweet real quick. Dr. Dr. Lava, here it is. And this one, here we are. I found this amazing. Yeah, that's that's what uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like that, honestly, that quote. <laughs> oh god it, uh, it sounds like an april fool's thing honestly but it was a real apparently a tiger cat with boobs <laughs> uh, i mean i can i understand the concept of what they were trying to do however it's like what were you trying to uh, like? I'm guessing they were trying to make like something like um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Le like not He-Man, but those other ti the tiger character that was very popular in um the cartoons. Was it He? No, it wasn't He-Man. It was like Lino. I think it was. I think it was Lino. It was basically. I think they were probably trying to pull a Lino for what Pikachu would be. Because Lionel was super popular at that point, I'm pretty sure. Anything over here? No. So I gotta go up. How can we make electric mouse sexy for kids in the States? Uh, I don't know. Make it a, a shocking change. That's what I'd say. <laughs> I went up to your joke. Finally, you made it through. I want to go to that sign, but I don't want to battle a trainer. And eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, I love me some good old dad jokes. Alright, which Pokemon? All my Pokemon are really uh, dying out here. Look at all that red. They're the Starry now. Honestly, I should get like one, an emo of like, like a bum bum. I mean, I have uh, Vine data because I'm hosting that for uh, Vin's channel, but I don't have a like a negative, a negative two on my channel. You're also ugly. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm actually really happy how that emote came out when I was making it. It was actually really challenging to get the um, get the pants be able to look decent on a black background. So I had to do like do something with it because it was the contrast was too bad on it. Um, and so I was sort of like, what if I just use the color of the vest and just do a sort of like blended outline? Of course, I, it, I had to do it on every single frame. And I also had to make sure it looks like I wasn't like cutting off pieces of of his body when doing it. So, like doing those sort of like keyframes for like small emotes are like they're difficult. But I'm so happy like the emotes that uh, Vin has wanted has been only like marginally small frames, as well as that being able to just loop them. So, like for example, the Kermie one, um, I actually. 
I have it looping back and forth. So it's actually not a, uh, a, a kick, 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 and then stops. It actually is a kick, kick, and then reverse kick, kick. Or something like that. And also it is sort of hard to do as well. Due to the fact that the last few frames actually dims in brightness in the video. So I had to sort of match the brightness of it. For uh, Kermy, please. And also, why did I go to the left? GMs are on sale in Celadon, but only a few people have HMs. But yeah, animated emotes, especially when you're doing it from videos, is like a pain in the head. But but it's always people love them, so I'm like, I gotta do them. I don't want to be the I want to be the one that rises up to the the top and like be able to yeah I did it <laughs> because they they're always turn out amazing and people always love them. Like I would have I would have to say like Kermy please at this point on the Twitch chan on Vin's channel is probably the most used emote out of even sub emotes and all that. So, it's pretty crazy. And it's also funny how that, it sort of completely changes the, um, the fact that people always, uh, always made the connection of, like, Kermit to Joel for the longest time. Because, you know, the, the whole, it's Joel's dad meme bit. Oh, let's use slash, but now it's like so many people ref uh, compare like Joel, I mean uh, Kermit to Vinny now, due to the fact that of all the uh, Kermit streams and all the um, the emote stuff and just all that sort of stuff. It's just sort of funny. Ah, darn. What do you say now? Teach Pokemon moves of the same element type for more power. Wow. Bird Pokemon are my true love. What do you say? Row 14, west to Fuchsia City. Alright, I need to heal my Pokemon. Super Potion. So, let's use this on Trapuana. Use it again on Evangelion. Again on Nimbo King, and then again on Carl. Yeah, Carl is just weak on HP altogether. It's over here. Nothing. It's probably a hidden item somewhere here. Feels like there would be one. And Punch One faded, which means I could revive him. And he shouldn't have poison anymore. Yep, we good. Ooh, a biker gang. I can walk right around you. Let me cut this tree. I'll come back here and battle them once I get to the um the Pokemon Center and then another bi biking. Man, all of them are easy to walk around. Wrong thing again. Go over here. I like how they do reward you for ha keeping cut on you. Like you can avoid all that grass, all that, and you get an item. TM twenty. What is TM twenty? It is rage. Everyone can learn rage, but. Rage isn't really that decent of a move. It's like Thrash. Um, I believe it's also normal. I mean, eh, I'm not going to teach it right now. And here we are. Fuja City. Let's talk to this guy here. Are you working on a Pokedex? Professor Oak's aide came by here. And let's look into the binoculars. Oh, here's the aid. Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aid. If you caught 50 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an EXP all. 
Yeah, I haven't even caught 30 yet. Sorry. Yep. Let's look into the binoculars here. Looked into the binoculars. Looks like a small island. No image. Looked into binoculars. A large shining bird is flying by toward the sea. Oh, hey, look. There's Articuno. Is this what it looks like in the normal game? Like, just this black outline? Or is this, like, a little bugged? Let me look. Gen 1 Articuno uh, binoculars. Yeah, it actually looks like it might be bugged. Because the original has it a bit more uh, color to it. I guess they forgot to uh, colorize the sprite. Yeah, the original looks like this. Um, let's see if I can get an image of it real quick. I mean, there's this image, but... Alright, this one will work. So there's, this is what the uh, original looked like. So, yeah, it looks like this because it's uh, colorized in the sprites, it sort of lost the color in it and didn't display right. So, it's all right. I can still, you can tell what it is. This is funny. Is it still there? Uh, large, yeah, you still see it. At least you hear the cry and the, all that. That's pretty cool. And let's head into the town. So this is personally one of my favorite sort of design towns. It's sort of interesting in the terms it's like it's sort of like a a conservation zone. Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Well, it's a zoo. Out back is a safari game for catching Pokemon. Like they got like a zoo here as a whole town. It's like sort of like weird. Fuchsia City. Behold, it's passion pink. And of course, since it's the color hack, you got pink roofs. Uh, let's cut the roofs here. I right, cut this tree. What's up back here? That item ball in there is really a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. What is it? Oh, it's a Voltorb. Very image of a Pokeball. Voltorb, the ball Pokemon. Usually found in power plants. Easily mistaken for a Pokeball. They have zapped many people. This is a Clefairy? Oh, Chansey. Name, Chansey. Catching one is all up to chance. Ha ha ha. Chansey, Yeg Pokemon. What's over here? Nothing. Um... Oh, this is probably Almanite. Almanite. A Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil. Almanite. The spiral Pokemon. Praise Helix. Kangaskhan. A maternal Pokemon that raises its young in a pouch on its belly. Kangaskhan. The parent Pokemon. Well, I mean, it doesn't actually raise the, uh, par uh, the child. Because the child never even grows up. You think they would eventually had a uh, make the uh, at a certain level, sort of Kangaskhan, sort of like loses the child, and the child evolves into another Kangaskhan, and then at a level later, if you breed it, maybe I don't know, it gets another uh, child. Ah, nice. We got Ultra Balls now. Um, get some super potions again, so I'm out a few. Uh, let's go up to, yeah, 12. Should be decent. And get some revives as well. Uh, 7, that'd be fine. Perfect. And do I have anything I could sell? I don't think so. No, not really. Alright, we're good there. Oh, she, let's see what she says. Did you try X speed? It speeds up a Pokemon in battle. Yeah, I never actually used those sort of uh, things. I never really 
found them interesting because is it, you're wasting a, an attack time when you could just be doing damage. Do you have a Safari Zone flag? What about cards or calendars? No, I don't have any of those. Did you try the Safari game? Some Pokemon can only be caught there. Name, Lapras, a.k.a. the King of the Seas. Lapras, the transport Pokemon. Uh, it's Pokemon. Where's the Pokemon Center? Also, how is this going into the Safari Zone? You're literally surrounded by nothing. I mean, by a bunch of things, not nothing. But still. I don't understand. Where do you actually go into the Safari Zone? Yeah, this is a safari zone. Do they like take you on a, a car and get you there? Alright, now let's head down to this little area. See what they have here. Uh, safari zone, warden's home. And I believe, yeah, you have to go, you have to do the safari zone. Do the fact that literally you have to uh, get surf over there. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grant, I like your style. Take this fish, young one. Or take this. Uh, Liz received a gold rod. Now I got a gold rod. So. Or good rod. God dang it. I can't talk. And where does this take me? In the backyard? And I can fish here. I remember. I think. I can't recall what exactly happened here. But I remember catching something really decent in this area. In the past. I don't know if it was like the original games. Or it was Gen 2. Or Gen 3. Um, not Gen 3, Gen, yeah, Gen 3 for Fire Red Green, or me being Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I can't recall. But I remember catching, like, something really, really good in this water. And I can't recall what it was. Let's head into this town, or house. Can I not? That one doesn't have a back door. Apparently that backyard is only his. So, ooh, what's this? This requires strength, I don't have that. Pokemon photo, photos and fossils. Hiff, fluff, hiff, fluff, fluff. Ha, fluff, ha, fif, if, ha, fa, fi, fu. Ho, hef, he, fui. Ah, hoo, he, hoo, hoo. If, if, ha, fa, fa, he, ho, ho. I have no idea what he said. Is he a caveman? Oh, I, I, I don't... Is that a reference to something that I have no idea? And also, there's probably an item down over here. No item? That's weird. Yeah, I have no idea what that's a reference to. It has to be a reference to something. This is... Let's see, over here. And we made it to the gym. Fuchsia City Pokemon Gym. Koga. Let's see. Poisonous Ninja Master. And what is it? let's head to the Pokemon Center first. Talk to these guys. There's a narrow trail west of Viridian City. It goes to the Pokemon League HQ. The HQ governs all trainers. You can't win with just one strong Pokemon. It's tough, but you have to raise them evenly. Yeah, I've tried. If you're studying Pokemon, visit the Safari Zone. It has all sorts of rare Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Let's heal. Thank you, thank you. Now we can get our Gloom out of the PC. I'm going to switch him out for uh, Nimbo King. Uh, first deposit. And then withdraw the uh, Doomer. Also, Beetlegeist as well. Deposit. I think since I have Hitmonchan, I don't need Carl, technically. So, let me do that. Now I should have a decent, well-rounded team. By the way, Snorlax with Amnesia is one of the strongest Pokemon in the game once you teach him Surf. Same with Explosion. That's good to know. 
since currently he has headbutt amnesia and rest so if i teach him yeah surf yeah that definitely would be a decent idea then so the pokemon i have here one's normal one's grass and poison what level does uh what does gloom evolve into um the not blossom but um vile plume is that via leaf stone or yeah i think that's via leaf stone if i'm correct and then so that one's poison grass this one is fighting this one's electric of course oh wait i don't want to cut this one is flying fire and then this one's normal so this one this one's more of a special attacker uh well-rounded he also has rest while snorlax is more of a physical attacker so that's a decent yeah all right yeah that's decent then so, very well-rounded then so let me heal up then and get rid of uh fix their uh, issues heal your pokemon heal all right and let's head on out head into these buildings real quick talk to these people bill files his own pokemon data on his pc did he show you safari zones warden is old but still active all his teeth are false though uh, that's why he was talking like that <laughs> he has no teeth <laughs> that's that's the joke okay Hmm, you've met Bill. He's my grandson. He's always liked collecting things, even as a child. Alright, let me save real quick, just in case. Alright, now saving. And I saved the game. Alright, so this is pretty simple maze, I believe. Yo, champ in the making. Fuchsia's gym is riddled with invisible walls. Koka might appear close, but he's blocked off. You have to find gaps in the walls to reach him. And did Scion beat this gym yet? Leader Koga, winning trainer Scion. Yep, he won. So let's head up this way. Alright, this is the first uh, trainer. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. Let's see. Well, if you're a ninja, why are you a psychic? Oh, no, he's a juggler. Okay. Well, this is a little different. But do ninjas juggle? I'm drowsy. Let's see. I guess ninjas sort of juggle. Alright, let's use Ice Beam. Critical hit. Nice. Oh, and he's frozen. Even better. Let's use a little bubble then. Thirty-eight, nice. All right, let me uh, one second. I had a bot just uh, post a racial slur. The thing uh, auto mod detected it, and now he's banned. So we're good. Yeah, it was obviously a bot. His names were numbers. So. He, talk, he said, uh, talking about sucking beans, apparently. I mean, if he didn't say the racial slur, I would have been fine with it. But. Ice beam, come on, land it, land it. Psychic. Oh, come on. 
There we go. Cadabra is a cadaver. And another drowsy. Psychic again, come on. Also, I always love that, like, the psychic effect used on the screen. I always found that really cool. Like, some of those effects that other moves use, like the flashing, I'm not too, uh... It, I don't really like that. But, like, compared to future games, some of these effects are really cool. Uh, yeah, come on. You can land it. Well, let me rest and heal up. All right. All right. Poison gas doesn't affect me. Come on, wake up. Put on some little makeup. Awesome. And let's use ice beam. Yeah, there are. I mean, back then, it wasn't really a, a thing that was commented on for gaming. It was already sort of a thing that you put out there. Oh, this game is a... Like, there's notices. I'm like, multiple places I'm noticing. Like, you, if you have, like, a... If you're seizure-prone, don't play these, don't play video games. Don't watch TV, blah, blah, blah. However, like, since it was a port portable game, it le probably led to more issues. But... I think it's more so more prone now since we're playing it through emulation and through brighter screens that it's more of an issue than if when you played it on the Game Boy and Game Boy uh, Color, the screens weren't that bright. You had to use like a, a camera or a light source elsewhere to brighten it. I'm done for. So, I mean, back then it probably wasn't as bad of an issue. But now I, you can sort of set, uh, tell it is through the uh, emulation of things. Also, this invisible maze is not that invisible. Yeah, the Dark Ages, literally. Uh, yes, I did. I actually did have one of those little plug-in things that you plug into the uh, transport cable area. Use a super potion. Actually, no, I don't need a super potion. Never mind, but I did. I, it was like, basically it was like a, uh, one of those, like, night readers. Those saved me during times my family was camp. Yeah. Like, I always had to use one of those for, uh, when I was in a car ride. Car rides were always so annoying. Like, especially because there were so many drives that we had to do at times. Uh, ice beam again. Come on, freeze them. Darn it. Withdrew. That's interesting. I'm guessing the uh, AI is getting a little more advanced, maybe? Oh, you disabled my rest. How could you? Yeah, like Gen, Gen 1, I mean, I don't even know. Does even Gen 1 have, like, multiple stages of AI? Yeah, that's what I basically had, Lazarus. Um, it basically, you plug in, it was like, I think it was like transparently blue. Only during Elite Four and Champ. Interesting. Alright. So, the rest is disabled. Let me use Psychic on him. Yeah, Oak probably, yeah. Makes sense. Still sort of uh, sad that Oak was like scrapped. I all like I honestly felt that would have been such a cool addition to be able to have like him with a Venusaur, like as like or not a Venusaur. Well, for me it would be a Venusaur because it'd be the left uh, the one that was left there. However, it would just been such a uh, such a cool like battle to see him with it. All right, come on. One more hit. There we go. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's true. Honestly, like I t I talked about this the other stream, where why wasn't the Elite Four tackling the uh, Team Rocket throughout this whole event? Both the Johto and the Kanto Elite Four, and like they're high level enough, they can take them on. We at least in Gen Two we had a uh, uh what's his name Lance be come and try to tackle them at the one building. At least that made sense. Gen one, you had nothing. Like there's the Elite Four did. Abs I don't think they did anything. They just sit there up there, and then you battle them, and that's basically it. Dropped my balls. No. <laughs> and here's Koga. So let me save. Do a little, a few safety saves for whatever reason. Um, let me. I don't have any antidote, so I can't really do anything about that. However, I can probably heal up. And use another one. Alright, now we are set. So, since this is mostly uh, psychic... Yeah, I should be fine. Let's battle Koga. Fwa ha 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 ha! A mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. It's sort of interesting Gen 1 sort of focused not entirely on just types, but sort of just all around sort of like specific techniques of what to use. Oh, welcome, Shy. Uh, let's use ice. Oh, wait, I don't have ice cream. Uh, you psychic. Head cannon, because you were a kid, you weren't uh, held to the same type of laws that adults trying to fight and get Team Rocket and that they may have had. That's true. That's true. Gain 903. All right. Muck. Two psychic again. Yeah, I mean that that sort of uh, can make sense to me. Um, makes sense also why a Lance was so fed up with Team Rocket in Gen Two that they would be able to do it. <laughs> so it's like, I think it it becomes more so uh, how I would imagine is that. With having the specific issues of that, uh, well, uh, I mean, if we talk about that, how about the police force in this, these Pokemon games? They're completely incompetent if that's the case. I mean, just like real life in a way. I mean, I guess that's the, that's the most realistic thing about these games is how incompetent the police are. <laughs> I mean, the only, the only people I, like, Looker is really the only decent police person, but, um, I don't, he's an international police, not a, like, specific place. Also, I like that set, uh, that effect. I really like when they, it sort of, like, inverts the colors, but it doesn't really invert, it sort of, like, swaps color. I don't know how they do, what it does exactly. I always found that really cool. Uh, bubble Beam again. Why not? I mean, I guess that's true, but I mean, some things aren't specifically, uh, specifically have, uh, decent Pokemon. I mean, I know, oh, what was it? I think Gen 2 started having police officers with stuff like, uh, Growlithe's. Um, what else did they have? Um, yeah, I think it says Growlithe. Yeah, they all went AKO. <laughs> oh, nice. You just killed yourself. Thanks for giving me the win. Oh, that, what a way to end the battle. <laughs> you have proven your worth. 
Here, take this old badge. I guess that makes sense because ninjas, I believe it's ninjas, it might be just samurai, I'm not entirely sure, is that by by the sense of defeat, if you are failing, you want to, by all respect, uh, basically kill yourself like seppuku. And self-destruct is basically seppuku or however you say that. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. And TM6, which is probably toxic, yeah. It is a secret technique over 400 years old. Wow, interesting. Uh, let's see, probably uh, Doomer can uh, learn it. Let's see. Everyone can learn it, wow. Uh, yeah, I'll teach you the Doomer. Why not? What moves does he have? I did it again. I keep on pressing A faster. Well, I mean, Toxic's better than Poison Powder. Alright, that's fine. Not the worst accent ever. Besides Magic Carp. Makes sense. Alright, let me save again, just in case. Um, well now I have to just do the Safari Zone and get Surf. Then I can head down south, I believe. Actually, let me check my trainer card. Well, no, I could go Battle Sabrina now, I guess. And then I could Surf down. Well, I could probably Surf down from Pallet Town after... So let me, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll do this first. Um, I might, after I get Surf, I might head out and uh, save the game and this end the uh, the stream. But for now, I don't know why I'm saving again, but why not? The safety saves. And then the next gym will be saved for the next game. And also what? Where is the entrance? Is this not the entrance? Slowpoke uh, came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a speech wrong. Wait, what? Oh, he's, is he calling the... Uh... <laughs> he's calling the... Uh, what should we call it? Um, the... Uh, the Warden. Slow, uh, Slowpoke. We nick Yeah, we nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke. He and Slowpoke both look vacant. <laughs> Also, I hate how you can't, like, read these things. I want to read it. Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. Alright. So let me cut this real quick. Oh, wrong one. Alright. I wonder if Toxic would be considered the first, the first hold item in that way. Every Pokemon be said, uh, that might be a good idea, actually. A hold item that causes poison when you get hit by... Oh, that would be a cool idea. So basically a poison point as a hold item. That is true. <laughs> You're on a Pokemon journey because it failed uh, thing. Actually, there's really, there's no, there's not any schools in Gen 1. Like... Education is not a thing in Pokemon. Like the only there's only ever trainer schools. You're never taught anything else. I guess ever, maybe everyone's homeschooled, which is sort of like, eh. Hi, is it your first time here? Yes, it is. Safari Zone has four zones in it. Each zone has different kinds of Pokemon. Use Safari Balls to catch them. When you run out of time or Safari Balls, it's game over for you. Before you go, open an unused Pokemon box so there's room for a new Pokemon. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500 Pokemon, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yeah, sure, why not? That'll be 500 yen. We only use special Pokeball here. 30 Safari Balls. We'll catch you on the PA when you run out of time of or Safari Balls. Alright, here we are. Wait, why is it the Evolve music? Wait, is this really what the music is here normally? 
rest house. Right, that's weird. I'm catching Pokemon to take home as gifts. And it says that I have... Alright, 500 steps, that's fine. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? Alright, let's figure out where to go. So I know up north. Go through here. I know the it's up top, like north left is where the normal facility is to get surf. Uh, music. Yeah, the game music is going to be lower than my voice. That's that's normally planned. The song in the game is also uh, lower intentionally. It's just so it's not overpowering my voice. Since the game does get loud at point, at times. No, my voice should be high up. That should be only you. Because my, my voice is literally peaking up into the yellow and almost reds. That would be like super high volume. Wanna give it a nickname? No. That's gotta be on your end, uh, Shy. I got some Carbos. Carbos is probably for, uh, I don't know. Yeah, everyone else said the volume's perfect, so, it's before, so. Speed, all right. Which one should I give speed to? Well, probably Snorlax. Snorlax would probably be the best to uh, boost his speed. So I'll give it to this, uh, Snorlax. All right. Uh, anything over here? Oh, I just I just did a loop. No. So that's not the right way. How many more blocks? All right. Steps. I mean. Oh, an item. Let's see. What is it? Max potion. That's good. Oh wait, there's an item there. I need that. No more room. All right. Item. Can't get rid of anything. TM, what is this again? Razor Wind. I don't think I could teach this anyone. Nope. Let me get rid of it. Yeah, I don't know what to say, Shy. Uh, my volume is literally like. My voice for itself is literally at the loudest it can go. And everyone else said it was completely perfect before, so. Uh, Parasect. This is a... Let me throw some some bait. Get him closer. And then throw a Safari Ball. Let's see. I missed. Come on, throw another one. Missed again. Let's throw a rock. Now he's angry. Ah, oh, I ran. God dang it. Like I said, I mean, if it's... Like, it shouldn't be that... Like, I can't really increase my volume anymore else if it's in the red. Which is... Like, once it hits the red, it starts peaking really loud and it's really a problem with uh, audio. Um, so, I, I'm not sure what to say. Like, if I put it back up to zero decibels, this is how the loudest my voice is. And if I increase the game volume a bit... Also, I know that's what you were saying. I I understand that. Like this is as loud as uh, my voice can go, and this I increased the uh, game audio just slightly. Come on, get an execute. All right, it ran. Whatever. So this is as loud as it can go right now. Ah, uh, what's in here? How many did you catch? I'm blessed from work. Plus, my uh, mic, I believe, is also uh, increased in decibels through my computer as well. So it's like, I don't know what to tell you. 
Demanding time declines only while you walk. Uh, how many? Oh, 219. Yeah, I think I'm almost there. Oh, wrong way. And I believe it's this way. Up through here. And I think the building should be through. Yeah, it's going to be around here. It's going to be a lake somewhere. Ah, dang it. Just wasted my whole time looping around here. Oh, wait, no. Ah. Yep. I just wasted all that time walking through there. Yep, I'm not going to be able to make it. I have to pay another 500 to get surf. This is probably where... Yep. This is the building. Come on. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can I make it? How many more steps? 22. Oh, I got an item. Can I can I get rid of anything here? What's this again? Egg bomb. I already found that before. I don't need it. Get rid of it. TM40. Yeah, it would probably I would have gotten it. Yep, ding dong. Alright, I've gotta do it again. One more time. Alright. So this time we know the paths and where not to go. This time we should be good. We're not entering the buildings either. Alright. And wild Pokemon. Let's see. We know the Parasect. Come on, Safari Ball. Come on, catch it. Catch it. No. Let's do some bait. Get it eating. Throw another ball. How am I missing while it's eating? Alright, here we go. This is the second one. I believe the building's on the fourth. Like, it's the last area. So, all right, I'm gonna run for these. I don't got, want these guys. Let's run. Ay, ay, ay. Run again. Wait, which way do I go again? I went the wrong way. Whatever. Run again. I don't want to battle you guys. Gotta go left. Oh my god. Ooh, I want this one, though. Hell yeah. Scyther? Oh my god. Why can't, do they always run away? Yes, yeah, Scythe Lord. And another Pokemon. Let's see. Bait makes them less likely to be caught, but keeps them around. Oh, I see. Rock makes them more likely to be caught, but they run away. Interesting. So, Bait is good for if you want to waste a bunch of balls. But rock is good if you want to use less balls, basically. That's what I'm get, uh, taking away from that. Yeah. This way, then down through here. And up. How many moves do I have? Ooh, I got like more than half still. That's really good. That's this one. Ooh, a chancy. Speaking of the devil. Let's throw a rock. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Yes. All right. Ball. Catch it. Catch it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Ah. Oh. God dang it. Let's try to get another one. 
that tra the chances of that are like probably super slim like slim to none what's right here rest house yeah i'm good <laughs> what's this one uh need a reno or arena <laughs> oh i didn't need to catch it but whatever yeah it's pretty cruel oh i caught one i haven't i don't think i leveled up my needle ran to a needle arena so well i got that dex uh the female's horn develops slowly prefers physical attacks such as clawing and biting yeah this whole game is literally like if you think about it it's sort of it's a whole bunch of cruel stuff I think they're more so like pebbles. It's more so to get their attention. Um, let's use a max potion since I... I know he's fainted, so I can't really use it. Let's see him 40 again. Skull Bash. That sounds decent. Is Skull Bash decent in Gen 1? Um, I think they're better. It's pretty good. It sucks, really. It sounds such a cool move, but it like all right. They buffed it in newer gens. It sounds like such a cool move, but it, it if it's wow, that's sad. They give the cooler moves like horrible stats. Protein that does HP. I remember that one. HP. I'm going to give that to. Well, 30 set with only 70. I, yeah, I'm going to have to give it to... Well, Punch Man doesn't have that much HP. Yeah, I'll give it to Punch Man. He needs it. Just throw a uh, boulder at them and scrape, <laughs> scoop, scoop up the remains into your Pokeball. <laughs> Off to the fourth area. How many more areas? How many steps? 168. I'm cutting it close. I believe I go left. Gold teeth. Go left. Yeah, there it is. Um. Can I get rid of anything? Team 20. What's this again? Rage. I could. All right. I'll teach this to someone. I'll teach it to. Well, Punch Man probably has decent physical, so I'll do that. Yeah. TM32. Then item. Plus out the Great Ball. And then what was the other item I got? use double team double team is decent i i've heard you can use that a lot to really like uh to like cheese uh some uh pokemon i might do that on evangelion yeah i know i believe isn't the evasion the ability that yeah i'm gonna use a use on evangelion he needs that sort of stuff all right and i'll replace sand attack All right, that should be good. All right, now we can head right in and give him his gold teeth. All right, no, I don't think I give him the gold teeth, right? Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won a HM03. Awesome. Also, this music is so annoying. Like, it's just mind-numbing. Who thought I put this in the safari zone? Oops, wrong way. Um, what's this say? Trainer tips: the secret house is still ahead. Let's see if I could get that chancy. Let me 
maybe leads to the party, but what exactly is this game? Uh, it's Pokemon Red, but what it is is originally in Pokemon Red, uh, the original game, it was made for just the Game Boy. Uh, the Game Boy Color version, when you plugged it into the Game Boy Color, it wasn't made specifically to work with it as well as, say, for example, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Uh, this hack basically makes the colors more closely resemble uh, Gen 2's colors. Any more moves? 10, 1, 2, 3. Uh, and so basically it tries to mimic that sort of um, visual. And it does it really well. It basically feels like a Gen 2 game, but it's Gen 1. Time's up. Alright, there we go. Now we got Surf. And let me teach that item. Surf. Now who can learn Surf? Just Snorlax. Uh, basically, yeah. So is Snorlax decent to teach Surf? Or should I give it a different move? And uh, maybe give it to a different Pokemon. Very Surf. Alright, I'll do that then. And now he knows Surf. Perfect. So let me just heal up my Pokemon. Uh, and cut this tree to get there. Also, these trees grow back way too fast. <laughs> it's almost unnatural. Alright, and then we can head over here. Head to center and heal up because of how special works in this game it doubled your special attack and special defense and with how a high Snorlax HP is in the game that makes him a crazy good tank plus rest that's good to know thank you your Pokemon are fighting fit all right Oh, didn't mean to talk to you again. Alright, awesome. So, my team's overall is really good then. If I have a decent tank, uh, which is Snorlax, I got a Grass Poison uh, Gloom, which I'll probably level up with a Leaf Stone in the future. I think that's right, yeah. Uh, wait, does he stay Poison Grass if I use a Leaf Stone, or does it become, like, Grass Psychic? Um, I think it's still Poison Grass, if I'm correct. Um, but I, Punch Man's uh, is good. He's a final version, doesn't evolve. Volteon, really good. Uh, Charguana, Charizard, perfect. And uh, Starry, which is decent. I think overall the team is coming, really coming well. Uh, Doomer is Gloom. So, I'm pretty sure Gloom turns into Vileplume. So, and I think Vileplume is the same uh, types, Grass and Poison, and not Grass Psychic. Yeah, yeah, Bl Blossom is Gen 2. I was just trying to figure out which uh, type it was. I'm pretty sure it stays the same. But yeah, Vileplume is decent. Grass Poison, okay, cool. So yeah, definitely a well uh, It's pretty well-rounded. I mean, I have... Uh, two normals, but I mean, one's more so a tank, and the other one is more so to say uh, all around like type coverage with uh, water, ice, and then psychic, and then rest uh, to sort of heal up. So I got two Pokemon with rest, which is really decent. But with that, I'm gonna be ending my stream. Um, I'm not gonna be switching to another game. I had a good time uh, playing this. Um, I'm probably gonna have a supper after this as well, so that's gonna be uh, fun. <laughs> but I do. Uh, I thank you all for joining me. Um, the next stream, I'm probably gonna be heading up to fight Sabrina, and then after battling Sabrina, I'll probably do a two-in-one gym uh, stream, and then head down, go over to Pallet, and then head down to uh, fight Blaine. 
So that's, that'll be a fun stream next time when I do that.